Hi everyone, and welcome to my video. We're going to be talking about experiments, observational studies, and drawing conclusions. Now before I start, let's ask ourselves a quick question. Why would someone use statistics? Well, maybe a doctor wants to see the effects of multiple types of medication on a patient and figure out which is best. Or an investor wants to find out which company is best to invest in using their ongoing activities. Whatever the applications may be, there are two major categories of collecting data. The first is observational study. Observational study is when the observer has no direct interaction with the experimental units. He is just watching with no influence at all and drawing conclusions from the data. In an experiment, however, investigators apply treatments to experimental units and then proceed to observe the effect of the treatments on the experimental units. It's pretty much the exact opposite of an observational study because in an experiment, the observer will place himself and his influence within the field of observation, change at least one factor, take data, and draw conclusions from the data. So now that we've covered the basics, let's get back to the previous examples. A doctor is giving a patient medication and observing effects. So let's say he gives the patient medicine A and sees good results. But he doesn't want to stop there. He continues. Maybe he changes the medication from medicine A to medicine B and sees a better result. He can then conclude that medicine B is more effective than medicine A. This would be an example of an experiment because the doctor is changing the medication, which is a factor, and therefore the outcome. Now obviously this is a small scale example of what would actually happen. In reality, the doctor would assign medication A to a group of people, medication B to another group of people, and observe the results on a bit of a larger scale. Now let's get back to the investor example. Let's say an investor wants to put his money in one of three companies, but he doesn't know which one. So for about a month, he charts progressions and patterns to see what happens in all the companies. He then finds which is best and puts his money into that company. This would be an observational study, but what if we switched it up a little bit? What if it's not some random investor, but it's the CEO of one of the companies? Let's say this company sells red ties exclusively. Now, sales are good, stock prices are rising, but that's just not enough for our CEO. He thinks blue ties might sell better than red ties. So he stops all manufacturing and sells blue ties instead, just to see what would happen. He has high hopes that the value of the company will skyrocket after he starts selling blue ties, but in fact it does the exact opposite. He then concludes that red ties were better to sell and goes back. This would be an experiment because the CEO changed a factor, the tie color. The difference between the investor and the CEO was that the CEO had direct influence on his company. Again, this was just to get a basic grasp of the concept of experiments. These are not nearly as simple in reality. Now that we know the difference between experiments and observational studies, let's divide them even further. There are two types of observational studies. The first is when a sample of a population is chosen at random and observed, and results are assumed about the population. The second is when a sample is chosen from convenience rather than at random. As for the experiments, they can be categorized two ways as well one with a random set of experimental units, and one with a volunteer or not random set of experimental units. Now in an observational study, you usually don't want a non-random sample of a population because you don't want to tip the scales in anyone's favor. But in an experiment, you might want a population of interest, as it's called. So in the case of an experiment, the situation would decide what kind of selection the conductor should use. Now, I think I've covered everything, so everyone, thank you for watching my video, and I hope you enjoyed it.